give till it hurts. Up next on the Filter Holiday Hit List, we're ready to roll with a hot wired trunk full of the greatest games and gadgets for the high speed mobile generation. Don't blink or you'll miss this on the go edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. And welcome to Filter's annual MMO. That massively materialistic orgy of holiday treasures. I'm Diane Mizota, and some poor staff in accounting is going to crap when he sees my expense report this month. Tonight, we're serving up the coolest new tech toys and game titles for your friends on the go. There's something for everyone here, from the Richie Richies to the bum on a budget. Trying to look hot with a massive hard drive-based MP3 player attached to your hip isn't easy. Try the Moby Blue DAH-1500i instead. This cubic beauty won't make you look like a square and holds a full gigabyte of tunes within its tiny little walls. The Moby Blue gives you a lot in a small package. It plays MP3s and WMA files, of course, but then it also has 8 to 10 hours of battery life, an FM radio, and a built-in voice recorder so that you can record yourself screaming in agony as you accidentally sit on it. Though the Moby Blue 1500i square shape might not be very inconspicuous in your pocket, it does have an appealing design that you won't have to sell your eyes to afford. The Moby Blue DAH-1500i will be running for about $130. Everybody loves Apple style and quality, but you don't all have a trust fund and can't necessarily take out another mortgage to buy a computer. Well, that's where a Veritex 3700 series laptops come in. The real selling point is that they offer a recognizably sleek white look that Macs have for PC people at a nice price. With AMD Sempron processors, 12.1 inch TFT screens, and appealing cases, a Veritex 3700 series won't disappoint. And at $9.99, you can save a little money for when you have to put a down payment on a video iPod. For that special someone who fantasizes about cosplaying as Tifa in her spare time, we recommend the Final Fantasy Advent Children UMD. This pocket-sized epic will put you back in stride with the Final Fantasy VII storyline and will play anywhere your PSP will go. Just when you thought they had exhausted every possible storyline you can put Mario in, they came up with one that takes the taco. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time puts the two plumbers in touch with their past selves to save the princess yet again. The hilarity of the previous Mario and Luigi title is back, but this offering has more playability with the advent of the dual screen console. Though the game's story would be a paradox in real life, let's not split hairs. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time will provide you with a good time, and it's only 34 bucks. Hey, pay attention there, kids. Okay, fine, here's what we just looked at. The Moby Blue DAH-1500i squared off against the competition and proved its geometric greatness. And the Averitech 3700 series laptop gave you the goods in an attractive wrapper. The Final Fantasy Advent Children UMD took your nerd fantasies on the road with the PSP. And Mario and Luigi, partners in time, got palsy on your DS. And just like that, you can cross the name off your gift list. Stick with me, kids, and I'll have you out of the mall by happy hour. Up next on Filter's holiday hit list to go, as anybody who's anybody will tell you, rich people simply cannot have their pictures taken with a camera that costs anything less than $8,000. Seriously, check the social register. When we finally get home, first thing I'm going to do is... Behind the jeep! You owe me one! They were America's most legendary infantry unit. And though every man was different, they fought as one. Big Red One. Call of Duty 2, Big Red One, rated T for Teen. This December, a new movie. We're going T4. I'm <laughs> Welcome back to Filter's Holiday Hit List. We've already seen how easy it is to shop for poor people. Rich friends, on the other hand, are a bit more troublesome. 
but they're worth the effort because they often have things like ski houses and private jets. So remember them and their busy lives at the holidays with the coolest and top shelf portable tech. If you have enough money lying around to fill your bathtub with, you can afford really unnecessary things like, for example, a 12.8 megapixel digital SLR. The Canon EOS is a 12.8 megapixel SLR camera, which means it's basically professional grade. Though it will probably end up gathering dust in your lavish closet, the Canon EOS 5D is probably more camera than real professional photographers can even afford. But hey, you need that kind of power for your daily snapshots, right? The average person can take photos of a birthday party, a vacation, the runway tied up in the crawl space, and then blow up that photo to poster size. When you need poster size printouts of the help, the Canon EOS 5D will fit the extraordinarily large bill. To get your privileged little hands on one, however, will set you back about $3,000. For those with a massive lap and a huge wallet, take the Voodoo Envy desktop replacement PC with you. Sporting enough power to do some hardcore gaming on the road, the big red bombshell has all the comforts of PC home and none of those wires. Whether you call it a supersized laptop or a tiny supercomputer, the Voodoo Envy's hefty feature set will be sure to please those with a big enough wad to afford it. It's not truly portable, but you can certainly take it to a LAN party. It looks great, super sleek, um, and it's so powerful. You can plunk this bad boy down under the tree, but beware, it will cost you about the price of a small car in some countries. Real old money folk require a little Sony style in their handheld gaming devices. Our recommendation? The Sony PSP, of course. It probably is a pretty good idea to pick one up now. You know, there's still a lot of good stuff out on store shelves, and you have big games like Grand Theft Auto that are coming out, and there's stuff coming out in the future that looks really great. You may have to hire another butler to help buff the smudges off the PSP's glossy exterior, but the high style factor is worth it. The price is not exactly chump change, though, at $300. Be a legend in your own right and cruise around town totaling expensive cars. Not in real life, in Burnout Legends for the PSP, silly. This game takes all the greatness of the original on the road and even offers Wi-Fi play and a game share option. The Burnout series has always been a really fun series, very fast paced, very high energy. Um, and the PSP one plays really nicely. The screen just looks great. It feels really nice. It's a good racing game, and you can just pick it up and play wireless with your friends. With enough high-impact auto action to satisfy even the most crash-crazy creepazoids, Burnout Legends will be on fire this holiday season. But be careful when you drive to the store to pick it up and bring about 30 ducats with you. Though it's not as if you need more half-naked women tracing around your mansion, Dead or Alive 4 is bringing new characters and new skin to the series. With your brand new Xbox 360, DOA and High Def 3D will kick your virtual ASS. Destroy your friends miles across the globe while simultaneously chatting about how poor and underprivileged they are with Xbox Live. Hey, why not just fly there and do it in person? DOA 4 features interactive environments and new unlockable characters like the Halo Spartan. The cost is only $50 plus any fees accrued by hiring people to play it for you. Before we reach deeper into our holiday swag bag, let's look at what we've just seen. The Canon EOS 5D digital SLR gave your wallet reason to cry and your photo album reason to rejoice. Voodoo's dolled up Envy desktop replacement left you with no excuse to miss the LAN party. And if you didn't have one already, Sony's PlayStation Portable gave you good reason to give up your life savings. But let's stop being so serious and start playing some games. Burnout Legends chose not to fade away and spend some time on your PSP instead. And Tecmo's Dead or Alive 4 jiggled defiantly in the face of gravity and reason. Do you think really rich people are actually happy? Yeah, they probably are. Damn it! Come to think of it, screw those people. Up next on Filter's Holiday Hit List, we'll pick out prezzies for the roaming fashion hogs in your life, including a sexy way to stuff the whole internet into your pants. They are the world's most deadly effect from Ridley Scott. Welcome back to Filter's bulging sack of holiday gift ideas. 
You know those people who always seem to look good no matter how big a hurry they're in? Yeah, I hate those people. Unless they're my size and they let me borrow stuff. Shopping for your style-conscious pals can be a challenge, but just remember, image isn't everything. It's the only thing. These days, it's hard for the stylish man about town to find time for things like text messaging and emailing people. That's where the Nokia 9300 comes in. It has a wealth of high-end connectivity features, and unlike most smartphones, it won't make you look like one of those BlackBerry-wielding corporate me -toos. The QWERTY keyboard, it makes IMing or even emailing uh, really easy. Plus, it looks like a phone, um, so you can kind of impress your friends when you flip it up and they see the keyboard underneath the outer exterior. The best part of the Nokia 9300 is that you can hide your Taskmaster side with the phone's flip-open design. All this form and function, however, will cost you around $579. Back in the early 2000s, iPods were a primitive lot. They had crude two-color screens and only played music files. It's hard to believe, I know, especially since this latest iPod is thinner, has a bigger full-color screen, plays video, and best of all, it comes in black. With all the new features on Apple's shiny little breadwinner, it's Christmas for iPod lovers. Well, I guess it's Christmas for everybody. If you're into hot Arabian style and you also coincidentally love the Prince of Persia series, then the latest installment, The Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones, is for you. In this game, the prince's time-warping shenanigans have seemingly backfired, and all of Babylon is in peril. Fortunately, the prince still has all of his crazy slashing attacks, wall running, and of course, his fantastically chic haircut. On top of it all, the game is rife with all of the heavily stylized graphical beauty that the series is known for, and better yet, this prince has promised to never change his name to a symbol. So if you think looks matter, toss the two thrones into your shopping cart and bring about $50. who were able to stomach the final two films in the Matrix series are probably longing to experience the scenes from the perspective of Neo. Well, you're in luck because the developers have finally taken their psych meds and decided that you can play as Neo instead of Niobe or some other character you don't recognize. The Matrix Path of Neo will give those style-conscious people on your gift list a peek at the future of fashion, which, according to the Matrix trilogy, is full of hippies who shop at the United Colors of Benetton. Now let's dial down the style meter a notch, or ten. Appearance isn't so important when people only see you whizzing by on your ten speed or in the blue light of your backlit keyboard. It's time to shop for the hardcore gadget fiend in your life. Commence download in three, two. For those people who absolutely refuse to miss their Sex and the City reruns, we recommend the Arcos AV700. The AV700 will record from your TV and stores up to 400 hours of video. On top of that, it has a 7-inch screen, so when you're out and about, people will be able to clearly see the weird stuff that you watch. It only has a 7-inch screen, which isn't the greatest, but it's a lot easier to hold on your lap in a plane than my 25-inch TV at home. Be sure to bring your MasterCard because it will cost you $800. Tired of the obvious decline of civilization that we've been experiencing over the past five years? Well, make your own damn civilization then with Civilization 4 for the PC. Fans of this finely tuned Sid Meier series will love the small changes in this iteration. They've gone to a graphics engine that lets them pull way out in the camera and zoom way in all fluidly, so you don't have to click between maps and fiddle around with buttons and that sort of thing. Pick it up for the humorless historian on your list today for just $50. The next time someone says, is that a router in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me, you can finally tell them it's a router. Yes, the Belkin Wireless G Travel Router will in fact fit in your pocket and can create an on-the-go LAN party. Woohoo! The Belkin Wireless G is nice because if you're staying in some rat hole motel that has high-speed internet connection, but not wireless high-speed internet connection, you can plug it in and immediately have your own network, then search for porn from the bathroom. Plus, you'll only need 60 bucks to take one with you. 
If Doom 3 had you quaking in your boots, try id Software's Quake 4. The fine graphical detail of this game will probably be the coup de grace for your PC, but it's worth it to see nightmarish monsters come to life with real lighting effects. Fans of the Quake series are going to spill all over their light-up keyboards when they see the multiplayer aspect of this game, which hopes to continue with the popularity of Quake 3. Stuff Quake 4 into someone's stocking for 50 bones. In the rare event that you just came in, here are the top tech products we just showed off. Nokia's sleek 9300 proved to be America's next top phone model. The Apple iPod Video monopolized the spotlight and your video library. It may not fit in your pocket, but the Arcos AV700 fit the bill as a powerful media player. And finally, Belkin's compact little G unit gave you LAN on the go. Prince and his new generation of epic bloodletting wowed you with the two thrones. The Matrix Path of Neo proved that those Wachowskis aren't dead yet. We gave history a makeover with Civilization IV. And a powerful tremor was felt in the vicinity of your high-end PC with id's Quake 4. I need a quick break. You don't buy eggnog, you rent it, know what I'm saying? But don't go away, because we've got on-the-go gifts for your favorite weirdo, including a gaming headset that'll shake, rattle, and roll the face right off your skull when Filter's Holiday Hit List returns right after this. <laughs> The biggest thing to hit game consoles this holiday isn't an ape. The Matrix Path of Neo in stores now. Last year? America's Army, Rise of a Soldier. The only video game developed by the United States Army. Rated T for T. This holiday season, separate the high-tech from the low ho ho tech with the Filter Holiday Hit List. All the stuff you gotta get, from big-ticket gadgets to the dopest games and gear. We filter it for you. We'll let you know what's worth your cash and what's worth a pass. The Filter Holiday Hit List continues next. Only on G4. Welcome back to Filter's Holiday Hit List. We've shopped for some pretty predictable types so far. Budget boy, style freak, hardcore geek, but even your obese cosplaying weirdo friends are busy these days. Here's some stuff they'll love. When tuning out the real world with massive gaming headphones, you might as well add force feedback into the mix. After all, it's America for crying out loud, and if we want vibrations against our ears, we get them. And the Force FX headset does just that. This headset vibrates whenever there are any very low frequency sounds, which normally you wouldn't even be able to hear. Um, plus it has an LED display on the outside that lights up whenever the gaming is very intense. So in other words, these are perfect for epileptics. Yes, it's true, force feedback isn't just for your hands or your pocket anymore. The future of this technology is for the head. Be a part of the future today for just $50. I've trained my whole life for this moment. Is that a casting director? Oh, you're kidding. I have a headshot. If you're not dumb enough to try to get into Hollywood in the real world, do it in the sim world and save yourself the grim, hopeless career with the movies on the PC. This location is all wrong. You're going to be able to make movies in the game and add your own voiceover. Take this, space man. Now I smell best picture. I left Broadway for this. And action. This game will let you make machinima films as well as live out the role of a star or a star director. You're going to have like this whole Sundance Film Festival online with movies you created. If this game does jumpstart your career in directing big-time feature films, please... No more Jim Carrey comedies. The movies will be coming to a PC near you for just 50 bucks. Wait, wait. It's my breath, isn't it? Tired of all those games where you play a game? Well, then play Quantic Dream's Indigo Prophecy. 
The game is more of a movie experience than a game and also features a sanity meter that you'll have to monitor. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. In order to keep your sanity high, we might recommend not watching the news and not driving anywhere in California or New York State. It's actually sort of similar to the old school PC adventure games where, you know, you go through and make different decisions and the story would pan out differently. But the development team has actually done a really good job of adapting it for the console market and uh, trying things that really haven't been done before in an adventure game. Indigo Prophecy will give you a truly new type of video game experience, as well as an atmospheric and deeply written story. Check it out this holiday season for just 30 bucks. You just know that a lot of the really cool stuff is on back order this time of year. So just to be on the safe side, if I had three wishes, I guess I'd ask for like five things. If you still haven't thrown in the towel on VHS technology, now's about the time. Don't worry, the Sony DVD Direct will help you put all your old stuff onto DVDs easily, even your special movies. You can take all your VHS tapes that have been piling up of sports games, of parties, and family picnics, and turn them into DVDs without having to use the interface of a PC. Sony's attractive little DVD burner can also take movies off of your camcorder directly and can be plugged into your PC to burn video projects and the like as well. All this burning flexibility comes at a price, though. The DVD Direct will burn a $300 hole in your pocket. game that can take a basic human emotion and make a utilitarian acronym out of it must be interesting. F-E-A-R, or First Encounter Assault Recon, is an atmospheric FPS for the PC that has enough creepy plot elements to keep you on the edge of your force feedback gaming chair. Fear is definitely a game to look forward to if you're a PC gamer because it's got beautiful graphics, but at the same time, it's a scary game. Fear has this whole supernatural aspect, and it captures that Asian horror, you know, get inside your head psychological thriller, but puts a gun in your hand and lets you play a first-person shooter at the same time. Although the game might look scary, don't be afraid to brave the shopping crowds and pick it up. Fear should retail for around 50 bucks. Unless you're into crashing as a fetish or something, you probably want to keep those hands on the wheel. Well, what if you want to answer your cellie? Look no further than the Motorola IHF850 Bluetooth Car Kit. Motorola's Bluetooth Car Kit will keep your hands free in style for around $179. If you've got Alzheimer's, don't worry, here's the stuff we just showed you. The Force FX headset gave new meaning to the phrase headbanging. Sony's DVD Direct made your VHS collection obsolete, all in an attractive little package. And unlike the kind of blue teeth you get from drinking Drano, the BLNC Car Kit's Bluetooth proved it might save your life. The movies premiered on your PC. Don't miss the Machinima Red Carpet Show. Indigo Prophecy presumed you guilty of murder before you even had a chance to defend yourself. And we looked at that thing that scares you the most. Fear. Stick a fork in it, kids, because this episode of Filter's four-part holiday hit list is done. If you missed any info, check out our show notes at g4tv.com slash hit list. Until next time, I'm Diane Mizoda, and if the journey is the destination, then why the hell did I book a hotel room? It's always better to give than receive, especially when really big toys are involved. Coming up on the Filter Holiday Hit List, make sure your inner child gets his Ritalin, because we've got enough great games and gadgets to give the little freak a week's worth of seizures. Just press play. It's the Toyland edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. Welcome to Filter's Holiday Hit List the show that shops so you don't have to. I'm Diane Mizoda, and tonight we'll snuffle through the loamy peat of the season's new games and tech toys to bring you the succulent truffles your friends will love. Yes, even the poor ones. So really, look. When you have a kid, every little thing they do is precious. 
Why not print out some of those moments in good old 4800 by 1200 photo inkjet quality? The HP PhotoSmart 475 printer does just that, and its portability will make it possible to print those suckers out on the fly. Not only does this printer make it easy to print, it also makes it easy to store your photos on its 1.5 gigabyte hard drive. So basically, you can just load all your photos in there without having to worry about anything. You don't need any cards, anything that's going to fall apart, anything that you're going to lose. It's just right there waiting for you to just print out whenever you want to. All this, and it comes in at only 280 bucks. Just think, you can spend the money you save on internet dating services. Just because your man left you all high and dry with a mouth to feed doesn't mean you can't enjoy the more luxurious things in life, like home theater. That's where the Panasonic SC-HT930 Home Theater in a Box comes in. With this brilliant little setup, you'll be able to get the full Dolby 5.1 surround sound that kids shows like Blue's Clues were meant to be watched in. This can-do entertainment center comes with all the must-have features that you'll need at around 500. And its nice looks won't jibe with all your IKEA furniture. Don't waste your time selling your blood or your eggs trying to buy the new Falcon Northwest gaming PC just to get Half-Life 2 to run. I suggest getting the Xbox version instead. The Xbox version is definitely a great alternative. The graphics are slightly downgraded and the levels aren't going to be as big, but for the most part, the game is there. The console release of the Valve Epic makes it possible for people who are outside of the old money cast to get into Gordon Freeman's shoes and take a gravity gun to those detailed game worlds. The game will probably retail at around 50 bucks, at least until the Xbox 360 comes out, and then you have to buy that too. Let's see. If you have a kid, then that means you were probably cognizant during the 80s. In that case, you'll get all misty and nostalgic when you see the new Warriors game from Rockstar Entertainment. I'm sick of running from these wimps. That's right. Even though it's seemingly out of nowhere, someone decided to make a game out of a movie from the 80s in a vain attempt to be hip. Subsequently, you can be hip as well just by playing. God bless America. The Warriors game will help you get connected with your child's generation for around 50 bucks and make him or her hate you even less. Can you dig it? In case you blink, here's what you just saw. HP's spunky little 475 photo printer proved to be a smart choice for the budget-minded. And we saw a home theater in a box that you can afford even if you live in a halfway house. We saw a version of Half-Life 2 that you can run even if you have half the money. And Rockstar's new retro smash, The Warriors, fought its way onto our list. Don't go anywhere, because our toy story continues when Filter's fun and games holiday hit list continues with gifts for the mega rich, like a phone that's ready to R-O-C-K, right after this. <laughs> The show that made it okay to consider girls on a trampoline a spectator sport. The show that made it okay to laugh at a midget just because he's a midget. Gentlemen, it's okay to be a man again. Blast away! The Man Show is back tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on G4. I'm Eddie George. This is... Welcome back to the fun and games edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. Rich people deserve to have fun, too. And when they aren't rolling around naked in all their money, they enjoy simple pleasures just like yours. Only theirs are a lot more expensive. When you've got money to burn, smoke, and wipe with, the size of your TV is only limited to the imaginations of those brilliant Japanese engineers overseas. That's why we're recommending plunking one of Sony's 70-inch rear projection LCD TVs down on your favorite little money bags this Christmas. This TV will deliver brilliant Sony picture quality and the famous Sony style factor in a gargantuan package. Hopefully, there isn't a shortage of liquid crystal on the planet, and until there is, the rich will be able to watch their stocks on Bloomberg TV with their near-theater-sized visuals. This luxury, however, will set you back about seven large. If you're the offspring of a rich, world-dominating businessman, you'll probably want a cell phone to avoid the inconvenience of having to wait for people to be right in front of you to order them around. In that case, you'll love the Motorola Rocker Phone with integrated iTunes interface. Now you can listen to music wherever you want, 
when you're not on the phone, making it easier to ignore the masses of obnoxious plebeians asking for handouts. This music-making moto will, however, set you back about 250 of your precious dollars. Those other kids will probably have to wait for price drops or use system sales to get one, but the rich kid insists on having the latest generation of console hardware ASAP. Microsoft Xbox 360 will be the hot toy on Veruca's gift list this year, and unless you know the Gates man personally, you're going to have one hell of a time finding one. Oh, you do? Well, then you're all set. Send your butler to duke it out with the other moms at Toys R Us this year and leave him with 400 bucks so he can afford to pick it up because that's what it'll run you. Since you're in the upper echelons of our lopsided society, you probably already have an Xbox 360. Well, next you need some games. Might we suggest Call of Duty 2? Look alive! Leave the pressure on them, boys! Let's go! Rich kids love war games. Since they'll never have to actually go to war themselves, it's a fun fantasy to play out. Call of Duty 2 proves to be a huge hit, as was its predecessor. Word to the wise, shop early for this one. It's going to sell out faster than Blink-82. When you do get your hands on a copy, it will probably cost you 50 bones to take it home. Joanna Dark's back, and this time in the full graphical beauty of the Xbox 360. Chandra, let's do this. Perfect Dark Zero is a good game to get for pretty much anyone because it's different from other first-person shooter games where this is a strong heroine character, not necessarily leaning towards the whole, you know, big boo, pretty girl. She'll be a hot piece of anyone's holiday wish list, but again, only those fortunate enough to have an Xbox 360 will be played. Chin up, soldier. Let's look at the goods we just showed off. We widened our doorways in anticipation of Sony's new 70-inch rear projection mammoth. Motorola's rocker phone went on tour with the rich folks. And you got 360 reasons to buy Microsoft's new Xbox console. We stormed the beach of the highly anticipated Call of Duty sequel. And Joanna Dark tiptoed her way onto the Xbox 360 launch title list. Remember what they say, money can't buy you happiness. The implication, of course, is that happiness is free. So not only would you be rich, but you'd be saving money at the same time. I'd be pretty damn happy in that case. That's a conundrum, but one I'd love to figure out. Stick around, because we've got lots more fun and games, and Link gets a die job when Filter's holiday hit list continues. <laughs> Seeking, monkey swinging, road tripper. Kitty and Dixie battle a new world to rescue their buddies. Donkey Kong Country 3, only for Game Boy Advance. Now with a brighter backlit screen, rated E for everyone. Welcome back to Filter's Holiday Hit List. We've met the poor and we've met the rich, and I think we can all agree that being rich is better. Well, now it's time to meet the weird. You know, those friends of yours that your other friends just don't understand. They're nice and all, but sometimes you just look at them and wonder, what the? Looking like a Zoid on crack, the Robo Pet from the brilliant makers of the Robo Sapien is a great gift for that special someone on your list that you don't really know anything about. The creature bears hopefully little resemblance to your real pet, unless you have a freaky skeleton dog as a pet, but it does do tricks with the help of a supplied remote. Robo Pet is a charming sign of our horrifically dark future, where strange-looking robots are all we will have to cling to for companionship. The price of this new brand of robot love will be about $100. What could be more fun than a touchscreen adventure game in the palm of your hand? I hope you said nothing, because then you'd be raring to hear about Nintendo's Trace Memory. The game will showcase the DS's features and take players on a journey through a mysterious island. Are you 
nostalgic for the 80s cartoon series based on the Legend of Zelda games in which Link was a horny teenage man with a repertoire of obnoxious catchphrases? You're supposed to be guarding the Triforce. Well, excuse me, princess. Well, apparently you're not alone. It's out on DVD now, so enjoy. The Legend of Zelda Complete Animated Series DVD is a reminder of exactly how weird the 80s were. Hey! Look out, you two! Sprite! Pick it up for the Zelda Freak on your list today for just 30 of your hard-earned dollars. <laughs> Stylish people like to have fun, too. It just has to be nice-looking fun that doesn't clash with whatever they're wearing. Which is why it's a good idea to buy stylish people gifts in neutral, expensive tones. Metrosexuals need high-end audio, too. For their independent movies, of course. That's why the hipster on your list will love the Yamaha YSP-1000 digital sound projector. Using Yamaha's Bleeding Edge speaker technology, this single unit can give you surround sound without all the wires and multiple speakers messing up your feng shui. The Yamaha YSP-1000 speaker system will add some style to your movie experience, but watch the price tag because it'll run you about $1,700. If you're going to be watching media on the go, you still have to look cool. That's why we recommend the Arcos G-Mini 402 for the wannabe mod in your life. The G-Mini 402 is a portable media center, something you could carry around. You could put your videos on there, photos. It's got 20 gigabytes of memory, which is a lot of storage. For anything you want to bring around to all your friends, hook it up to a TV, you can watch any video anywhere you go in the entire world. With the ability to take photos and capture video even, this tech toy has more functionality than your iPod. You'll be able to stuff the stylish stocking with this bad boy for about 300 bucks. With all the different iterations that the Nintendo Game Boy Advance has gone through, it's about time they came out with one that won't make you look like a 13-year-old kid when you're holding it. The Game Boy Micro does just that, and it's small enough to fit into your pocket, hiding your gamer identity from attractive women or men instantly. The Game Boy Micro is cool because it's not really something that you need to have, but yet it's tiny, you can wear it around your neck. I saw guys in Japan wearing them, and I was like, yeah, you know, guys who wear Game Boy Micros, they're hot. <laughs> Hopefully the next five facelifts for the Game Boy Advance will look this good, too. For now, you can hold one of these in your hand for about $100. For the stylish guy, a heavily stylized game. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow for the Nintendo DS takes the still popular vampire hunting franchise and makes it touchable. Not to mention the fact that Soma Cruz is like the first metrosexual vampire hunter in history. The portable Castlevania games progressively look sharper and more beautiful with the Game Boy Advance series, and now on the DS is the best looking one yet. For a flat 2D game, it really has a lot of personality to it. If you're into the look and the feel of the Castlevania games, then this game is for you. Plus, it will keep with your stylish image in ways that sports games can. Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow DS will retail for around $40. Let's take a look at the play-by-play. The RoboPet gave us a good alternative to animals that pee everywhere. Yamaha's YSP-1000 sound system gave us a 42-speaker salvo without destroying our living room. Arcos's little G-Mini showed it has more than a mini style factor. And you won't need a microscope to see it, but it will fit in your pocket, the Game Boy Micro. You lost every trace of your spare time on trace memory for the DS. We revisited the 80s to see Link try to score... Come on! No! and fail in the Legend of Zelda DVD collection. And if it still hasn't dawned on you to buy a DS, we showed you a sorrowful Castlevania game that might sway you. All right, I have to take a work break. It's a union thing. I can only have so much fun every hour. But when Filter's fun and game hit list continues, I'm fully strapped and always packed, know what I'm saying? With crime time games and tech toys for hardcore geeks. <laughs> And separate the high tech from the low ho ho tech with the filter holiday hit list. Continues next, only on G4. I'm Eddie George. Welcome back to Filter's holiday hit list. Are you having fun yet? 
Well, you better step on it, because the show's almost over. And it just wouldn't be a holiday show here in Geek Town without a sleigh full of high-tech goodies for the hardcore hasher in your life. Game on! Hardcore gamers can't be distracted by lag. That's why we recommend the ultimate network gaming toy, the D-Link Wireless Gaming Router. This gaming field device will actually prioritize game-related packets over other ones and features up to 108 megabyte per second speeds in an effort to help you score all the points. The cost of all this gaming freedom is about 130 bucks. If you'd rather sleep with a nerf herder than play World War II first-person shooter games, then you'll probably want Star Wars Battlefront 2 this Christmas. The Star Wars Battlefront games, it's like having every Star Wars toy ever made in history from when you were a kid to now. You have X-Wings, Jedi, Rebel soldiers, anything, and you're just playing out these huge epic battles. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will travel to your stocking at light speed this holiday season and will probably retail for about 50 Republic credits. <laughs> the Falcon Northwest Mach 5 SLI is all you need to be the alpha male of the land party. Despite the fact that probably few people will ever visit a gamer's den, every hardcore guy will want to have bragging rights when it comes to having the most impressive pewter. This desktop will give you the most impressive visuals you can buy. Of course, at over $6,000, you may not be able to buy it, but it's fun to dream. You need a mouse that is on par with your gaming expertise. The Logitech G7 cordless laser mouse will fit the bill perfectly. With the ability to switch between different DPI settings, this mouse is ahead of the curve. If you're a hardcore gamer, the Logitech G7 cordless mouse unbelievable option because you could basically depending on the game the sensitivity that you need you could adjust it per game all this accuracy does come at a price though the logitech g7 mouse will run you about a hundred of your coveted dollars <laughs> new york new york a city so nice you can blow the crap out of it twice with true crime new york city and maybe it'll keep you from doing it in real life new york police True Crime gives you the opportunity to clean up the streets using whatever means necessary. Continuing what was started in the first game, you can play as the good cop and the bad cop with benefits and consequences for both. They mapped out all of Manhattan, so it's all represented there. And, you know, you can run around and do a little mayhem as well, just like you did in GTA. Become the king of New York this Christmas without spending all of your cheddar. It's 50 bones. Yeah, it's not like I don't wish for world peace, but I figure somebody else is bound to wish for that too. So in effect, I'd be throwing a wish away. So if I could wish for anything, I guess I'd want... Even though I'm smart, clever, and intelligent, I still love shiny things. Which is why I simply must have the Konica Minolta Dimage X1 digital camera. Boing! Eight megapixels? Holy crap! Are we living in the future? Let's say you took a photo of Courtney Love. The resolution is so crisp, you feel like you could lean in and lick her track mark. Beautiful 8 megapixel resolution along with anti-shake technology all wrapped in a pristine silver casing make this camera perfect for everyday photos. And I can see myself in it. If you want to do a little amateur videography, then get something that doesn't make you look like an amateur. We suggest that you get JVC's Averio Digital Media Camera. It has features that you would normally get on a more professional model, such as three quarter inch CCDs, and it also has a four gigabyte removable micro drive. The JVC Averio is enough to make you look way cooler than the other dads filming their kids at Disneyland, and hey, that's worth 1,700 bucks, isn't it? If you know any gamers, or even casual gamers, and need a gift for them, look no further than We Love Katamari. What I love about We Love Katamari is that it's a pure game. It's not about beating somebody, being the best at something. It's just a pure game you pick up, it's easy to learn, and you just enjoy it. Even the soundtrack of this game is sure to be a hit with all the nerd hipsters out there. <laughs> The legendary Lombax is back, 
And this time, he's getting in on that reality TV craze that we've been hearing so much about. And this time, it's all about shooting. So the platforming elements are gone, um, and Plank is not really there either. So it's a little bit darker. Yeah, I know. It's a little late in the game. But if anyone can breathe new life into it, it's going to be the Ratchet Deadlocked creators of Insomniac Games. Look for Ratchet Deadlocks this holiday season if you want some fast-paced arena combat with the touch of the wit that the series is known for. With the exception of robots, those of us who are socially challenged should own pets. That's where Nintendo's Nintendogs comes in. The game is great for anyone who, out of sheer clumsiness or lacking brain power, can't own a real animal. Nintendogs, you know, I wouldn't call it a game, really. It's just you're taking care of an animal. It's kind of cool to use the DS microphone to teach it tricks. You know, you can actually say sit into the DS, yeah. and it'll remember it, and the dog will actually learn to sit after a while. Once you've successfully mastered owning a digital puppy, you can graduate to a plant and see how that goes. In the meantime, Nintendogs for the Nintendo DS will run you about 30 simoleons. Asleep at the wheel again? Here's what you just saw. The D-Link gaming router saved your family from your bandwidth-hogging MMO games. Falcon Northwest's Mach 5 ran your copy of Microsoft Outlook at breakneck speeds. The Logitech G7 mouse made it easier to shoot people's heads off. Konica Minolta's X1 proved it won't ruin your image or your images. And JVC made bootlegging easier with the Averio's microdrive technology. We put you on the front lines of a space war with Battlefront 2. True Crime New York City put a hole in the Big Apple. Japan's psychedelic junk ball fest, We Love Katamari, rolled onto your PS2. We ratcheted up the fun factor with the new Deadlock game. And Nintendogs chewed up your favorite virtual shoes. And that's it, Rummy. We're cutting you off. That's all the fun you're getting out of this gal. I hope you've enjoyed Filter's fun and games edition of the holiday hit list. Miss anything? Check out our show notes at g4tv.com slash hit list. Meanwhile, I'm Diane Mizoda, and whoever dies with the most toys wins, but batteries are not included. Get outside. The fresh air will blow the stink off you. Right now on Filter's Holiday Hit List, what makes the great outdoors even greater? An all-terrain truckload of gadget and gaming gifts, that's what. Now, is that a pup tent, or are you just happy to see this outdoors edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List? Filter's Holiday Hit List, the show that puts the Nooka back in Hanukkah. I'm Diane Mizoda, and tonight our pan-denominational filter shopping machine is rolling off-road to bring you all the gear, games, and gadgets for the nature lovers in your life. Grab your crampons, campers. It's time to hit the trail. I'm sure you can't think of one person who likes spending money developing film. I mean, what are we, in the Cretaceous period? These days, even the Amish can print out their digital photos using, for example, the Canon Selfie CP510. This inexpensive photo printer uses dye sublimation to print your memories out in 300 by 300 DPI. The Canon CP510 small footprint won't clutter up your tiny apartment, and here's the best part, the price. Direct print to the selfie for just $99. If you're on a budget, you can't afford to go to one of those frou-frou gyms where they do power yoga. Sorry, you're stuck at home with DDR Mario Mix. This game ties the famous gameplay of DDR with a Nintendo storyline and features Mario characters, music, and environments as the backdrop to your groove. DDR Mario Mix comes with a Mario-themed map so you're ready to get your dance step on out of the box. All this Mushroom Kingdom value will run just 50 red coins. Every couple can remember a time before they drove each other nuts. Capture those honeymoon memories with the Pentax Optio WPI, and you can even get shots underwater in exotic tropical locales. This 6 megapixel digital snapper goes 5 feet underwater for half an hour and has a 3 times optical zoom. Pentax's Optio WPI is a utilitarian point-and-shoot, no doubt, 
And for those low-rent newlyweds, it won't break the bank. Take the WPI down under for just $349. For those who remember the original Mario Kart on the Super NES, the advent of the new Mario Kart DS will be a godsend. The game works via the DS's Wi-Fi capabilities, and each player need not have their own cartridge to participate. If you're really cheap, you can just mooch off your friends and save yourself some cash. It's really a perfect game. It's so fun. It rewards skill, but it also has an element of luck in it, so the results are always unpredictable. Mario Kart DS features tracks from all of the preceding kart titles, as well as new ones, lending some nostalgia to the game. Race on over to your local game spot and pick this one up for just 30 bucks today. In case you missed anything, here's all the cool stuff we just showed you. Canon's selfie printer made for a portable photo lab. We mixed it up with a Mario-themed version of DDR. Pentax's waterproof Optio WPI got all wet. And Mario Kart DS gave you Mushroom Kingdom Mayhem in the palm of your hand. You think that was fun? Wait till you see what happens when we bust out the really expensive stuff. Ever go camping with rich people? The TV is way better than it is in my pub tent. Find out why when Filter's holiday hit list continues right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. The show that made it okay to consider girls on a trampoline a spectator sport. The show that made it okay to laugh at a midget just because he's a midget. Gentlemen, it's okay to be a man again. Blast away. The Man Show is back tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on G4. I'm Eddie George. Welcome back to a brisk and breezy, nipple-stiffening, outdoorsy edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. When really rich people sleep under the stars, they call that getting back to nature. When I do it, I call it, hey, which one of you bastards tore my roof off? But aside from that, we're really pretty much alike. We enjoy the great outdoors, huge TVs, and racing games. If you've ever been described as semi-rugged, Panasonic has a laptop computer just for you. It's the Toughbook 73, a ruggedized notebook PC with wireless capabilities and a daylight-readable touch-sensitive screen. This thing will put up with the onslaught of clumsy stumbling that even the most absent-minded can dish out. And it has a handle. The Toughbook 73 will keep your information safe whether you're blogging on the front lines of a war or even reviewing a Gallagher show. And if you can afford the $4,000 price tag, you can impress people while you're out and about just the same. For those times when you're tired of the outdoors, plop yourself down in front of the Mitsubishi 927 Series 73-inch TV. That is, if you can fit it indoors. This beautiful behemoth will give you 73 inches of 1080p DLP HD, if you know what I mean. The 927 Series also features Mitsubishi's Clear Thought technology, and hopefully you'll be thinking clearly when you buy it, since you'll need about $7,000 in the bank to do so. If you're part of the 1% of the world that can afford a real multi-hundred thousand dollar supercar, it's going to be hard to choose which one to buy. Pick up Project Gotham Racing 3 for the Xbox 360, and you can see them in the system's high-definition graphics before you buy. The rich are busy being rich. They need cars that will get them to and fro with high speed. Project Gotham Racing 3 has the cars to fit the bill. Pick it up for the successful capitalist on your list today. If racing on boring flat areas has become tiresome for you, perhaps Ridge Racer 6 for the Xbox 360 may breathe new life into your racing game collection. It wouldn't be a hardware launch without the Ridge Racer series, and this game has all the arcade-style racing to prove it. Check out Ridge Racer 6 on the Xbox 360 for 50 bucks. Since even as a rich person, you don't really have the right to walk down the street and punch anyone you want, do it in the game world with Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. It's over for guys like us. There's enough crime-based gameplay in this title to make even James Brown blush. You can still jack all the cars and do all the crazy violent stuff that you want to do. Probably one of the biggest games this holiday season for any platform. 
GTA Liberty City Stories is a PSP exclusive, so you'll have to be able to afford a $300 portable gaming system to play it, but look on the bright side. The game itself is only $30. Now be a good kid. Wipe that confused look off your face. Here's another peek at all the cool gifts we just showed you. The Panasonic Toughbook 73 made it possible to get emails even if the roof gets torn off. And we went indoors to bask in the 73-inch glory of Mitsubishi's 927 series. Project Gotham Supercars guzzled your Xbox 360's processing power. For the sixth time, Ridge Racer premiered in your living room. And finally, Liberty City Stories turned you into a made man. Now go get your freaking shine box. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna freak you right the hell out. Don't believe me? Stay tuned and I'll show you a jacket that sucks electricity right out of the sky. Oh yeah. Now get a dustpan to pick up the pieces of your mind because it's gonna get blown right after this. to die again at Game Tag, where you can play hundreds of the greatest video games right from your broadband connected PC. Game Tag. Expand your playground. Get your first two weeks free at GameTap.com slash blast. Some games rated E to C, not all games rated by the ESRB. Welcome back to Filter's Apple Cheeked Outdoors edition of the Holiday Hit List. Weird people seem to enjoy nature even more than the rest of us. I just wish we could trust them to keep their pants on. But if your favorite weirdo promises to behave, why not reward them with something like a giant wheelie thing that kicks some serious ass? If you need new ways to get people to stare at you in public and the home of the Whopper briefs aren't cutting it anymore, look no further than the wheel, sir. This gas-powered O-ring with a seat on it will give you all the rolling jollies you can stomach and even gets up to 40 kilometers per hour. You can finally be the life of the party with the wheel surf. It's basically half bicycle and half hamster wheel. The wheel surf may not be the future of transportation, but you'll never tire of the adrenaline fix it provides. Roll off with one of these bad boys for just 4,600 U.S. Are you tired of watching your life slowly slip away while trickle charging your portable devices at home? Don the Scotty Vest and you can charge them on the fly. The jacket has a solar panel array on the back that connects to your chargers and even has headphones built into it. The Scotty Vest comes complete with just about everything that you'll need to charge your phone, MP3 player, and whatever else you carry with you. But all this will cost you. The Scotty Vest retails for about $5.35. If you have a full TiVo of Law & Order, you'll love Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. The game, based on a popular Japanese GBA series, debuts here on the DS, giving players the ability to go to trial without having to endure costly law schools. Here's the best part. You use the microphone to shout objection during the court trial when you have an objection. I mean, you might look crazy doing it on the bus, but I just think it's going to be really fun. So, if you've hit the glass ceiling at Cinnabon and want to assess other career options, look for Phoenix Wright to gerrymander its way onto shelves this holiday season. What are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? If your favorite stocking stuffer last year was Bum Fight 6, then Condemned Criminal Origins should be on your list. Santa may not visit the dark alleys that the naughty folks in this game inhabit, but if they're lucky, you might just introduce them to your friend Rusty the Lead Pipe. If you prefer jack-o'-lanterns to Jack Frost, then Condemned Criminal Origins might be the nightmare before Christmas you've been dying for. Pick it up for the PC or Xbox 360 this holiday season. If a fashion model falls in the forest and nobody's there to see it, should we just check her into rehab? What I'm trying to say is even very stylish people can enjoy the great outdoors. All-terrain survival gear is just so cute. If you've ever wanted to jettison your cell phone in exchange for a smooth river rock with an appealing rounded shape to it, now you can have your cake and eat it too. The T-Mobile Motorola Pebble V6 is another entry in the annals of style and functionality with its appealing rounded exterior and glossy looks. 
The Motorola Pebble is Mr. Style Guy. Motorola has basically perfected the technology, but in this case, they're perfecting the look. T-Mobile's Motorola Pebble V6 has all the features that you would expect in a cutting-edge phone from Motorola, all packed into the shape of a giant suppository that retails for $350. Welcome back to the world of burnout. Turn your everyday racing games into a horrifying pile-up with Burnout Revenge. The hugely popular franchise makes light of the terrors of the road in an entertaining manner not unlike a Robert Rodriguez flick. The Burnout series has always been a really fun series, very fast-paced, very high energy. Of course, we all love to drive fast, but we're not realistically going to, you know, go around and freeway and crash into people on purpose. With Burnout Revenge, you can do that. If you've ever wanted to get your revenge on in rush hour traffic, this game pretty much does it. And just think. You won't have to pay insurance premiums, just the $50 price tag of the game. That streetcar culture is so hot right now. Even if you're just some bottled water drinking, expensive gym going pretty boy, you can get in with them street cats and build up a mean looking rap sheet. You'll need Need for Speed Most Wanted to do that though, since you're a ninny on the inside. Most one sort of continues that and sort of amplifies that idea that you're being chased and you need to be this really great driver and not only racing, but you have the cops on your tail. Most Wanted continues EA's hipped up car franchise with more dope music, fresh rims, and cars that can be described as tight. And it also ties in sort of elements they brought in with the Underground series. So it's melding two of the most popular Need for Speed franchises together. Ditch that tired old iPod you've been carrying around. What, is that thing from first quarter 2005 or something? You want this week's hottest iPod, the iPod Nano. Sporting the maximum amount of style that you can put in something the size of a stack of business cards, this tiny MP3 player has a color screen and is solid state memory based. With all the features of the new Nano, you can't go wrong buying it for the stylish person on your gift list. At least until next month when they announce that you have to buy the next one. Until then, you can get your hands on the impossibly small Nano for either $200 or $250. Mystery is full of beans. That's why it repeats on you. And so does our shopping list. Here's another look at what we just saw. Though it's not reinventing the Segway, the wheel surf rolled its way onto our list. The Scotty vest trickled into all your favorite devices while keeping you warm. Motorola showed us what would happen if you took a razor to the rocker. It's the pebble, of course. And it don't matter if it's black or white, Apple's Nano rocked the MP3 world. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, proved perfect for anyone who objects to boring games. Condemned, Criminal Origins gave you reason to kill a man. The latest Burnout game took revenge on those slow drivers. And EA's new Need for Speed entry hoped to be your most wanted Christmas gift. If you change the channel before Filter's Holiday Hitlist returns, God will kill all the unicorns. Look, I don't make the rules. Don't come crying to me. Just stick around for lots more cool all-weather gifts like a skateboard that laughs defiantly at uneven terrain, and then it slaps its thigh and laughs again and spits at you. Your mom called and said she wants her thumbs back. We'll tell your mom to return my saddle soap. All right, Poodle Tooler. Meat breath. Rimskid. Lord Lotion Boy. Princess Gaia. Gravy Bandit. Salad Badger. Funny Smuggler. Monkey Hugger. Spam Commander. Cheese Clown. Trout Jog. <laughs> To this outdoorsy edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. When you think nature, you don't necessarily think of hardcore tech enthusiasts. Not at first, anyway. It's probably about seventh on my list between folk songs and cholera, but believe it or not, even gadget geeks like to hike the occasional trail or ford a stream every now and then. Don't let them wander off without a rucksack full of cool new swag like this. When snowboarding or mountain biking don't give you the high they once did, it's time to get the MBS Comp 16 mountain board. Step one, strap feet in so you can't move. Step two, find dirt slope with lots of loose rocks. Step three, face plan. I don't know whose idea it was to skateboard down a mountain using metallic shocks and oversized off-road wheels, but let's all take a moment of silence to mourn his death. 
Now that's what I call hardcore. There are 206 bones in the human body, and you can break them all for about $470. Since spending so much time outdoors leaves little time for the important things like TV, Creative's Zen Vision Portable Media Player can take every bit of the media you love on the go. Music, photos, TV, and movies all in a beautiful white package, not unlike the little Apple device taking over the world. Skiing down a hill while watching porn has never been so much fun. With 30 gigabytes of DVDs, TiVo shows, MP3s, and even photos of the latest Guar concert, the Zen Vision from Creative is perfect for the techno outdoor metalhead in every family. These days, wearing the white iPod earbuds tells everyone you're technologically elite. But what happens when nobody knows just how cool you are at home? Unwrap the Klipsch iFi speaker system and it's no longer an issue. Two speakers and an 8-inch subwoofer blast 114 decibels of power through this home stereo system designed specifically for the iPod. Now even the neighbors will know you're hip. Just don't play Celine Dion too loud. It allows you to get that full sound from your iPod instead of having to use little winky dinky speakers. The i5 speaker system from Klipsch adds plus 3 to your coolness factor, but minus $400 to your wallet. Add it to your home system today. Have you ever had fun climbing up a tall building, or fighting a T-Rex, or maybe even falling in love with a giant ape? If you said yes to all three, commit yourself to an asylum and then buy King Kong the video game. Peter Jackson's remake of the movie comes to life on the Xbox 360 as well as every other platform just to make sure you can't not give them your money. You might think it's sort of just living off of its name, but there's actually a really high-profile developer named uh, Michel Ancel who did uh, Beyond Good and Evil. It looks fantastic. Scaling the Empire State Building and grabbing blonde women is every extreme sports enthusiast's dream, and now it's a reality with King Kong. Pound your chest for only $50. While everyone's freezing in the cold of winter, why not take a vacation to a remote tropical island with Far Cry instincts? Don't mind the local mercenaries that are out to kill you. It's the mutants you need to watch out for. Oh, and don't leave without getting a makeover. That nasty virus they infect you with will do the trick and give you a few mutant powers to boot. For veterans of the first Far Cry, or people who just like attacking things with their bare hands, Far Cry Instincts can be your next Christmas gift for only 50 bucks. Gosh, if only I had three wishes. I could totally change the lives of some deserving families, lavishing them with gifts and scholarships and life-saving surgeries, but nah, sometimes I'd rather just have some stuff. If you missed the anthropomorphic animal action that the original GameCube Animal Crossing had, you're in for a treat with Animal Crossing Wild World for the DS. With the use of the DS's wireless capabilities, up to three players can interact in the same town at once, making the game even more community-like than before. Years after Animal Crossing came up for GameCube, uh, people are still playing it today. When the Animal Crossing DS comes out, being that it's portable, you can play multiplayer Wi-Fi, and it has so many more options than the GameCube version, I think it's just going to be an even bigger hit. If your pastimes include fishing, bug collecting, and digging for treasure, don't bother getting your shoes dirty doing them in the real world. Get it done in Animal Crossing Wild World instead. <laughs> Sure, there have been a million SSX games, but sometimes you can't have too much of a good thing. SSX On Tour is bringing more of the hot snowboarding action that the series is renowned for right in time for the holidays. This time, the focus is on being the biggest rock star-like boarding icon of the bunch. You know, they've added some new stuff. They've added skiers this time around. People who are fans of that will probably still really enjoy SSX4, and people who haven't experienced yet will really get a kick out of it, too. Though you'll never be able to get sick air like the characters in SSX on tour, you can pick this title up for the snowy season for just 40 bucks. They say that God created man, and it was Samuel Colt that made a sequel. Well, that's a decidedly cruel take of the world I wouldn't want to have, but the makers of Gun sure must have. Gun, a GTA-styled game set in, you guessed it, the wild, wild west, will give you a chance to brave those good old days when we settled things by shooting each other in the face. Truly, the Lord has blessed you with the talent of marksmen. I do all right, preacher. The game will put you right in the action and show you how the West was won. 
And if you can win yourself an Xbox 360, you can play it on there, too. Look for Gun to rob your stagecoach of just $50 this holiday. Put your pants back on. Here's another look at the swag we just showed you. The MBS Comp Mountain Board gave our insurance companies reason to decline us benefits. Creative Zen Vision took your porn library on the go. Punch's iFi speaker set dedicated itself completely to your iPod. And why did the animal cross the road? To get to your DS, apparently. We saved ourselves from the box office lines and played the King Kong game instead. Far Cry showed us some of the instinctual behavior of video game enemies. The latest SSX game took us on tour with a bunch of doper snowboarders. And the West was won by gun and by killing people. Time to make camp, nature lovers. That's it for this outdoors edition of the Filter Holiday Hit List. Like what you saw? Want more info? Check out our show notes at g4tv.com slash hit list. Yammer and squawk on our message boards. Check out clips from your favorite episodes and holler back at the bloggers on our show's homepage. Until next I'm Diane Mizoda, and if nature calls, tell them I'm in the bathroom. Sometimes you just gotta go. From Christmas to Kwanzaa, Hanukkah to Ramadan, Filter's holiday hit list has a gift for giving. Tonight, get ready for a mogul run with the greatest games and gadgets for the deal-making, power-broking business tycoon. So, yeah, we're going to need you to go ahead and watch the Office Edition of Builder's Holiday Hit List. Tonight's episode is a totally boss rundown of everything for the deal-making, multitasking, mogulicious office type. Now, I don't have a regular office job. I just can't make a briefcase work with any of my fun outfits. But I have needs, too. In the future, Skynet will take over the world by controlling all of our robots and telling them to kill all humans. Fortunately for us, the robots available to us thus far are pretty chill and not too combat capable. Take the iRobot Roomba, for example. This little landmine-sized automaton wants nothing more than to scour your floor for debris and pick it up. The new Roomba is nice because before you leave for the day, you can program it to vacuum the whole house as long as it doesn't have to go up or down stairs. So it's kind of like living with grandma, but without the smell. The Roomba scheduler adds to the capabilities of its predecessor with the ability to schedule start times and has better dirt pickup than before as well. The price of this automated maid service is $3.29. For those who think all cellies look alike, there's the Nokia 7280. This avant-garde world phone has a huge feature set, including Bluetooth, a camera, FM radio, speakerphone, and even text messaging, all with no keypad. You can store numbers in it, but it doesn't have a keypad, so you just scroll to the number you want to call and then call it. So it's great if you just want to put a tiny phone in your pocket before you go out. Though this phone may not look like it's for everybody, relax. The voice recognition software makes it easier to use than you may think. And with a look that stands out, it's worth it for fashionistas. Hope Couture ain't cheap. This Nokia will put you in vogue for $4.99. One is the loneliest number you could ever have. The best things come in twos. That's why we're recommending the Nintendo DS for that lonely someone on your gift list. This November, it's finally going to be going on mine. So you have Mario Kart Animal Crossing, two of the most popular franchises in Nintendo's library, now come to DS and they're online. Though it has been out for a while, the system is getting new life due to an influx of great unique titles such as Nintendo, which is a gaming phenomenon. That's reason enough to buy a DS. You can get your two hands on the two-screener for about $149. If you've got Alzheimer's, forget about it. Here's the stuff you just saw. The Roomba scheduler gave you an excuse to leave your crap everywhere. Nokia's 7280 cell phone overflowed with style. And the Nintendo DS console gives you two screens to wipe the buttery smudges off of. Oh, Diane, it's just what I always wanted. How did you know? All right, I guess it's time to shop for some of these other people on your list. Stick around and Filter's business class holiday hit list will show you everything for the man who has, well, everything. Including a groupy groping update on the classic air guitar. Well, 
ทั้งใน The show that made it okay to consider girls on a trampoline a spectator sport. The show that made it okay to laugh at a midget just because he's a midget. Gentlemen, it's okay to be a man again. Blast away! The Man Show is back tomorrow night at 10 p.m. on G4. I'm at his door. Welcome back to the 9 to 5 edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. There are two schools of thought regarding gifts for wealthy employers around this time of year. One posits that since he can afford anything he wants, you don't have to get him anything at all. On the other hand, sucking up is a valuable career survival skill. And in case you're so inclined, here's some stuff that'll put a smile on the big guy's face. TVs these days are getting bigger, thinner, and more expensive. And the Samsung 63-inch high-definition plasma TV satisfies each and every one of those conditions in style. This is the year that 63-inch plasmas are actually attainable. Built-in SRS speakers and an HDTV tuner guarantee you can immerse yourself in the big game or the latest sci-fi flick Steven Spielberg wants your opinion on. Maybe then he'll stop bothering you. Isn't there anyone over at Samsung saying, too, too big? I mean, when does it stop? You might have to take out a low-interest loan on the Samsung 63-inch plasma, but it will only cost your boss pocket change a mere $16,000. Having something in your pocket that's large, heavy, and vibrating is always fun. And it's even more fun when it costs an arm and a leg. Enter the Nokia 8801 cell phone. I'm sick and tired of using a cell phone that just makes me look ugly. So that's why I'm going with the Nokia 8801. It's pretty. Made of stainless steel, the face slides with an oh-so-fulfilling click to reveal the keypad and half-megapixel camera. The solid metallic feel screams, I spent serious dough. So if the second heaviest thing in your pants becomes your wallet, don't be surprised if a fight for supremacy ensues. If you want to wirelessly connect to all your expensive Bluetooth devices or just show up the Sultan of Brunei, you can wrap up the Nokia 8801 for about 600 bucks. Put down the signed Hendrix guitar and step out of your own personal recording studio. It's time to play for real. Guitar Heroes for the PS2 is here and it rocks! Pick up the included PS2 compatible axe and jam to the likes of Red Hot Chili Peppers, Boston, Black Sabbath, and many more. Besides, the private show they played for you last night was boring anyway. <laughs> If being wealthy takes a back seat to being a rock star, Guitar Heroes is the one for you. Only for the PS2, pick up the game and the axe for about $70. If it's good enough for John Madden, it's good enough for us. Here's an instant replay of the swag we just showed you. We watch the big game on the big screen with Samsung's 63-incher, and Nokia's 8801 proved to be an impressive handheld status symbol. Finally, Guitar Heroes gave you a chance to jam with some musicians who don't work at Guitar Center. Speaking of guitar heroes, I could play Stairway to Heaven when I was only 12 years old. Jimmy Page didn't even write it until he was 21. I think that says a great deal, don't you? Stick around and I'll show you some really weird stuff like a video game controller for your homicidally bent buddy when Filter's Holiday Hit List returns. Rated T for Teen. It's like a colored... Welcome back to the sit and polish belt and braces matching tie and hanky business edition of Filter's Holiday Hit List. As those of you who've been to business school well know, rule number one in any office environment is this. Don't emulate the insane guy. He's not the career model you want to follow. Which is not to say he doesn't deserve a thoughtful gift if you're a secret Santa. Although PCs have had mice with two buttons on them and whatnot for years, Apple likes to think they've reinvented the scroll wheel. See if they're right with the appropriately named Mighty Mouse. Finally, you can scroll with the mouse and you can right-click with it, essentially, just like mouses for PCs have been doing for years. But still, it has that Apple look. The mouse achieves the minimalist Apple sensibility with PC functionality using a touch-sensitive outer shell and a very small scroll ball. All this finely packaged California-made plastic will only cost you 50 bucks, and it'll match your pricey Apple desktop. 
So what if you've got a history of problematic drinking and no one's going to let you be a surgeon? Forget those tightwads and play Trauma Center under the knife for the Nintendo DS. Just kind of imagine like your virtual operations, you're kind of performing surgery on your DS and using touch screen all that stuff. Slice open and so shut an attractive cast of interesting anime characters in a story that starts out somewhat realistic and finds its way into soap opera sci-fi. It's fun, like you've got 15 minutes to kill, you know, on a bus waiting for a plane, or you're sitting there just kind of bored out of mind, you know, form a quick operation and save some lives. Pick up Trauma Center Under the Knife for just 30 bucks today and skip right through medical school. Some people just can't play shooters with a normal console controller. Noobs! For those aficionados, we've got a replacement, but it probably won't help you much. Yes, Newbie Tech's Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller will get you into the gory action with little functionality, but lots of flair. They need to have this outlandish controller to sort of enhance the experience, but, you know, whether or not it actually does that is, you know, up to you. If you've got $60 in your hand and you have to choose between filling your gas tank or buying this cool but useless controller, it might not be time to pull out the helmet and dust off the bicycle just yet. There's no other game out there that you want to buy, then yeah, you might want to splurge a little bit on this slightly ridiculous controller. It'll make you feel like you're chopping up the zombies yourself. If you're a collector, however, this themed peripheral may be your next must-have. We had this really mean goth kid at my old job, and his desktop was full of scary Hellraiser pictures and demon icons. And whenever he wasn't looking, I'd change everything to a Hello Kitty background. It drove him bonkers! But then I realized. People like that sometimes kill people like me, and I thought. Need to make a peace offering to the hardcore geek in your life? I've got some ideas. When on holiday vacation with their family, true nerds would still rather be perched in front of their PC watching their favorite anime shows. For this, we recommend the Slingbox. This tech nerd friendly device will take your TiVo shows from home and stream them to you via the magic of the internet. The Slingbox is perfect for people who just don't watch enough TV. Um, wherever you are in the world, as long as you have your computer with you, um, you can plug into the Slingbox and you can watch whatever is on your TV, your cable system, um, or whatever is on your DVR, or even listen to music that's on your computer at home. If you have DirecTV, a TiVo box, and broadband internet access, you're probably obsessive about the media that you watch. As a result, being away from said media will be infuriating. Say, for instance, you can't get enough of your local news when you're, like, halfway across the country. Easy. Plug in your sling box to your TV. It automatically sends it across the Internet to your computer. You can watch your, your favorite newscasters and all the weather from back home, right there, on your computer. Pick one up for the shut-in on your list for a mere 2 50 Pony noobs is hard work. You need all the help you can get. If you want to get serious, you'll need a keyboard specific to your hardcore gaming needs. Well, then... How about the Logitech G15 gaming keyboard? Not only does it light up so you can see in the dark, it also shows vital information in an embedded LCD right there on the keyboard. So you don't have to have, you know, a health bar or a range indicator or something like that taking up, you know, the spot on your, on your screen where it looks all pretty. You can have it right down here on a mini screen. You know, it's going to be the coolest mod at the LAN party. If you feel as though having your stats displayed on screen detracts from the visual beauty of your game, then you need help. You also, however, need the Logitech G15 keyboard. It's 80 bucks. Bearing little resemblance to the Age of Aquarius or Disney's Ice Age, Age of Empires 3 for your PC will put you in the ruler's seat. Become an imperialist and take over the world using all the resources at your command. The Age series is known by strategy gamers as one of the most favorite series that they've ever played. It's not fantasy, it's not science fiction, it's real times in history that you can feel, you know, wow, I'm significant. I remember learning about this in high school. This update to the classic series features a new home city aspect, as well as improved physics and a new graphics engine. History buffs and complete ignoramuses alike will clamor at the opportunity to do some empire building of their own in this game, in lieu of watching our government do it on TV. If you just tuned in, what the hell were you watching? Oh, forget it. Here's the stuff you just missed. Apple's Mighty Mouse gave us something touch-sensitive and white to put in our hands. And you could hardly control yourself when you saw the new Resident Evil peripheral. We were slanging the Slingbox's media capabilities.
and Logitech's G15 keyboard lit up your nerdy nightlife and gave you more screen space. We went under the knife to check out the new Trauma Center DS game, and we saw the third sequel to the age-old Age of Empires franchise. I love that swing box. I hope I get one for Christmas. Are you listening, people who make the swing box? I said I really, really, really like your product. I'm saying that on television, and I really hope I get one. Just putting that out there. Now, wonder what's coming up next? I'll give you a hint. My name is Mizoda. Diane Mizoda. P.S. I'm a back user. <laughs> Welcome back. There are many roads to success in the corporate world, but most of them involve hard work. Isn't it easier to just dress well and fake your way to the top? Of course, to do that, you'll need some stylish stuff. For those who like to coordinate their cameras with their outfits, we recommend the Canon PowerShot SD30. Something small, something stylish, something sleek. Pop it in your pocket, you can pop it out, take pictures of, like all over the place. This miniature digital camera will capture 5 megapixel stills and comes in humorously named colors such as Rockstar Red and Vivacious Violet. Just a fun little camera. It comes in three different colors. It's 5 megapixels, so your pictures are still going to be great. Just something to use if you're on the go, want to grab a camera and take a bunch of photos, um, just have fun with. The Canon SD30 has the reliability, ease of use, and speed that you've come to expect from a Canon Digital with a Digic 3 processor. It's sleek, it's stylish, it's cool. Not to mention that it will match your handbag. All this for just $3.99. Just because you're all business on the inside doesn't mean you can't look nice on the outside. Clean up a little with the Dell Latitude X1 laptop. This appealing little computer is thinner than Lara Flynn Boyle and isn't as plasticky. It's so slim, it's less than three pounds. You look like one of those high-powered businessmen who walk around with their computer under their arm, even though you don't have a damn job. Like all Dell PCs, you can customize the Latitude X1 with all the top-notch goodies that you can afford. It's thinner than the GQ fashion issue. I mean, how do you beat that? It's, it's small, it's compact, it's perfect for someone on the go. The starting price for these classy machines is about $1,700. Pimping all over the world isn't anything new. Sean Connery did it in the 60s. Journey back to those golden years of swing and spy style with EAs from Russia with Love. Sean Connery is reprising his role as 007. That's a pretty huge deal. The game puts you right into the movie's action and also features some new missions to expand on the universe. Modern-day Lotharios can get close to the man that started the James Bond sex symbol franchise in this game on any current-gen console in this holiday season. It's also a big deal because it's sort of a return to uh, a previous Bond game that EA did where it's third-person action instead of first-person. The price of this spy schooling is around 50 bucks, chest hair not included. proud to buy a GameCube for whatever reason, now you can at least play Resident Evil 4 on your PlayStation 2. Though hardware gurus thought it would never be possible to put the stunning GameCube game on the aging PS2, they pulled it off and added a few things that those smug GameCube owners will never get to see. The PlayStation 2 version of Resident Evil 4 offers enough different things that um, not only will Resident Evil fans just love it, but people who even own the GameCube version will probably want to check it out too. There's new weapons, there's new modes, there's all kinds of great stuff that will keep people entertained. If you thought you missed out on RE4 for good, Capcom has given you the presidential pardon. Resident Evil 4 for the PS2 will let you check out Ada Wong's sultry figure in true Sony style for just 50 plagas this holiday season. 
monsters. Holiday gift giving isn't just about dollar amounts. Believe me, if you saw what passes for a Christmas bonus around here, you'd know. Here's how to remember your friends without breaking the bank. Even if you winter, where you summer, spring, and fall, you deserve a sleep camera too. For what, I don't know, but you do. We recommend the Fujifilm Z1 5 megapixel digital camera. This camera has a three times optical zoom, 2.5 inch LCD, and a high style factor. The hallmark of this camera is that it's just, it's pretty. It's sort of style conscious. It's like for me. Yes, the Fujifilm Fine Pix Z1 will go everywhere the budget minded person needs to go, so you can get great photos of the welfare lines and nice snapshots of your parents lending you money. The price is $3.99. We here at The Hit List would never recommend stealing media by copying it off a Netflix DVD. But if you were to ever do so hypothetically, the light-on LVW DVD recorder would be your best bet. Not that we would know, but it will record and play back DVD-Rs and DVD-RWs. It enables one to record DVDs. The light-on LVW packs a nice list of recording features in a pretty package for only $100. If you can't stand your job or your significant other or your life in general, relax. You can play Cameo Elements of Power instead and pretend that you're a hot chick that can transform into different creatures. Okay, so that may not be your idea of heaven, but at least it's something. It's a very fast-paced adventure game with some interesting elements. The lead character gets her powers by morphing shapes. With the backing of now Microsoft-owned Rare Studios, this game should prove to be another hit. I was just impressed at how fun it was to explore, just run around and look at stuff. Cameo Elements of Power can make a cameo on your Xbox 360 for about $50. the economy kicking the crap out of you? Well, kick back with Namco Soul Calibur 3. This PlayStation 2 exclusive continues the great pedigree of blade-heavy brawling that the series is renowned for and adds more characters, including the ability to make your own. This means that you'll be able to um, build your own character from the ground up. You have all sorts of hair options, hats, shirt, uh, all sorts of layers, and then you can choose a fighting style and uh, then pitch your character against all of the classic Soul Calibur characters that you love. If you're one of those who's not going to buy a next-gen console for a while, and you already have a PS2, Soul Calibur 3 is going to be one of the few remaining titles to get. Pick it up this holiday season for 50 bucks. And now, just like those bad clams you had at the Jersey Shore, the stuff we just showed you is coming back up. The Canon SD30 added a little flair to your candid. Still got latitudinal all over your lap with its stylish X1. Fujifilm's Z1 digital snapper showed off the style. And Lighton's DVD recorder proved that it can be light on your pocketbook. James Bond FedExed something from Russia just in time for the holiday. Resident Evil 4 was evicted from the GameCube and moved into the PS2. Cameo, Elements of Power, transformed itself into an Xbox 360 game. And Soul Calibur 3 set the bar high for a new caliber of fighting game. The end of our business day here at the Filter Holiday Hit List. Like what you saw? Want more info? Check out our show notes at g4tv.com slash hitlist for prices, picks, and links, or gibber and squeak all over our message boards. Until next time, I'm Diane Mizoda, and remember, it's okay to tell on your secret Santa if he's hurting you. Okay, people, get out there!